Hi everyone and welcome to another math lessons with me. Um, today we're going to change uh, what we're doing with our division. So just to recap, just so that we're aware, it might not have been clear last lesson and that's my fault, but I just want to break division down. So at the top of the screen we can see division. There are two kinds of division. There is sharing, which is what we did in the last lesson, and there's grouping which is what we're going to do today. Sharing is what we did last time. Grouping is what we're going to do today. And hopefully we can marry the two together to make sure that you have a really, really strong understanding of what needs to be done. So if we get straight into it, hopefully all will become clear. So instead of sharing them out between groups now, we're going to make groups. So there are 10 in total. There are two in each group how many in each group. So now we're not sharing them out, we're actually putting them into groups of two. So now they're in groups of two, let's count how many groups there are. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five groups all together. If that's tricky, pause the video, talk to your adults, see if you can use some resources to help you with this one. There are eight in total. There are two in each group. How many groups are there? So we're not sharing, we're grouping. How many groups are there if you put two in each group? There are four groups. One, two, three, four. I hope you're getting the hang of this. It is a bit different to last time. There are 12 in total. There are three in each group. How many groups will there be? Pause the video, see if you can put them into groups of three. Use a pencil or a pen if you can. Or move your manipulatives, your resources across the table. Four. There are nine in total. There are three in each group. How many groups? Pause the video. Three. Now, before we go on to the next bit, if you need more practice with that, come up with some new ones. Sit down with your adults. See what you can come up with. See if you can come up with a new total and put them into different groups. You might find that not everything can be put in equal groups. Right, let's do some contextual stuff. There are 24 apples. We need to put two apples in each basket. How many baskets will we need? OK, so we know that there are 24 apples altogether and there are going to be two apples in each basket. So how many baskets are they going to be? I think if you had resources at home, that'd be really useful. If not, you can draw this on a piece of paper. There will be 12 baskets altogether. Let's try another one. Sweets come in packs of 20 and we need to put five sweets in each jar. How many jars will we need? So we know that we have 20 sweets all together and we know that there are five sweets in each jar. So how many jars will there be? Pause the video, see if you can work this one out. With this, it's, it, it is a lot easier if you're using um, paper and pencil or if you have things to move around, that would be great. There are four jars. Now, once you've mastered that, and if you please, by all means, go back and come up with some more ones, share them out, get used to the idea of grouping, get used to the idea of sharing. We're gonna come up with our number sentence now. Now in our sharing video, you saw this symbol here, our divided by or shared by. Well, actually this time we're gonna say grouped into. So Lee has 15 eggs and he puts three eggs in each box. How many boxes can he fill? So let's look at this picture. We know that he has 15 all together and he put them into boxes of three. How many boxes can he fill? So we know that we've got five boxes and there are three in each box. We can also see here that we have five groups with three in each group. So five times three is 15. Go back and check that one if it's really tricky. So John has 20 fish. 
he puts four fish in each tank. How many tanks can he fill? So let's have a look. How many, how many tanks does he have in the end? So he has one, two, three, four, five. So 20 divided by five. And we already know that he had four fish in each tank. Now, for the adults in the room, you know, uh, we can always talk about swapping that around because uh, most of the time it, we might say on this instance that 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Um, but contextually, the way we're trying to really get to understand the numbers, this image is showing us 20 divided by 5 equals 4. If you cover up the 5, the 4 is what we knew. Now, if we remember, I see here that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've got 5 groups with four in each group. So go back to our multiplication, five times four equals 20. Use the number line to work out how many equal groups of two can be made from 16. Now we've done loads of work on number lines and we know how to do jumps. Now that we can count in twos, we can do jumps in twos. So let's see how many groups we can get in. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Now let's count the jumps. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can see here that there are eight groups of two from 16. Eight group groups of two can be made. Let's try that again, but let's make groups of five that can be made from 20. Pause the video for a second. See if you can work out what you need to do here. How many groups of five can be made from 20? Here's a group of five. 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 We have five, oh, sorry, we have four equal groups with five in each group. So four equal groups of five can be made. So I'm just gonna go backwards just a little bit, go back to this screen here. And uh, essentially the crux of it is being able to understand how we can represent this using our number sentences. So practice these at home, use your, Ask your adults to come up with some problems for you to solve. Go through them together. It's going to be a long process because this is difficult. And I think it might be easier if we were in school and we had all of our resources and a bit more time to just sit down and focus on this one. But do your best at home. If it's real tricky, just let me know. Please, 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 please respond to this on Tapestry with an observation so I can see how you're getting on. I might be able to help while you're at home. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Cheers, guys.